The Christmas Shepherd is an interesting film. Interesting insofar as I don't really know how I feel about it. This was released in 2014. It's directed by Terry Ingram and written by Michael J. Murray. And it stars Terry Polo as Sally, Martin Cummins as Mark, and Jordan Ashley Olsen as Emma. And we also have Ace playing Buddy the dog, and Buddy is our German shepherd. And at the start of the film, there's a storm. Buddy runs away. He's missing for numerous weeks. And then he is picked up by somebody and taken to a shelter and is ultimately put up for adoption. And this is a little bit strange because Buddy had a collar on. He was very obviously somebody's pet. And it's very, very unrealistic for a dog with a collar to just immediately be put up for adoption. It's a bit ridiculous. Also, why would you not put your phone number or some kind of contact information on the dog's collar? So there are a lot of things that just seem unrealistic or that just don't seem to work really well at the beginning of the film. And it's also quite uncomfortable to watch. As a pet owner, it just made me feel sick with worry. And that relatability of that fear of worrying about your pet's safety. And if you're a pet owner, whether it's a dog or a cat or whatever, it's not, it's not going to be a comfortable watch, at least for the first half of the film. But the second half of the film, as we see, well... Sally and somebody else who Buddy brings them Buddy brings them together because of where he ends up. He brings together Sally and Mark and, and Mark's young daughter Emma. And after that point, it's it's a little bit more it's it's easier to watch, put it that way. It's not as heartbreaking. And I actually rather enjoyed it. So it definitely picks up. If you've started watching it and couldn't get past the first half, partly because of how emotional it is and also just how unrealistic it is I'd say the second half is almost a different film and much more enjoyable than the first half we have a, a stronger Christmas element with Christmas decorations Christmas trees ice skating and all of that you know really good fun and it's much easier to enjoy the happiness of the film and the festivities because that fear about the pet it is no longer what it once was. And I rather enjoyed the second half of the film. I genuinely... I don't know if I recommend it. I think I do. But I would say don't watch it if you're feeling fragile about a, a pet situation. Thankfully, I, I wasn't at the time of watching it. But I have been in a situation where I, my, my pet, my cat, Medora, went missing for three days. Worst three days of my life. And it just brought back all of those feelings. So if you've ever experienced anything like that, or even if you're just scared of anything like that happening, it's difficult to watch. And I guess in a way that's in the film's credit because it definitely portrays what Sally is feeling. I think it really gets that across, but that does mean it's not a comfortable film to watch to begin with. So if you're looking for a light-hearted, fluffy, festive Christmas film, wait until you get to the second half of the film. If it sounds like your kind of narrative... For example, if you love films with dogs, then absolutely it's worth watching. But it's it's going to be difficult to begin with. But if you can get past the the lack of uh, sense in the beginning with things just not making any sense and not playing out the way they would in real life and also the emotional difficulties, then it's worth it. It's worth persevering but I, I think it's not going to be for everybody or it's not going to be for everybody depending on what mood they're in. It's not a film that I could watch all of the time. As a one-time watch I don't mind it. Once we got past the first half I was then allowing myself to look at the characters, enjoy their personalities a bit more as they started to make better decisions and um, really lean into the Christmas aspect as well. So absolutely a film of two halves. It's worth watching if it's your kind of film. But just bear in mind that, to begin with at least, it's not going to be easy.